Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me again. Good Lake, early in the morning, making another video. Um, I did make a shit everywhere story time, and this is basically like another one of those kind of stories where there's another instance where one of my friends kind of shits everywhere, but this one's a little more unintended to happen. This is more of an accident. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty funny story. I've been wanting to tell this for a while, but, um, I wanted to wait until later on, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it today, and don't mind the gameplay, it kind of sucks, I played this early in the morning, like right after I woke up, so my aim was kind of off, and I kind of sucked, so just bear with the gameplay, please. Alright, let's go ahead and get right into it, though. So, this took place probably not too long ago, but um, I was in Paducah at this time, Paducah, Kentucky. And um, I had a friend that came over to spend the night and me and him were going to play games all night while my mom was asleep. And what was really cool about my house at that time was my mom's bedroom was all the way on the other side of the house and she always slept with her door closed. So, you know, really, um, we could play games like like as fucking loud as we want. I mean, there was some limitations to where how loud we can have it before she got pissed off and came in there and ripped us a new asshole. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we could, we didn't have to turn the volume down all the way down to where we couldn't hear shit, which is pretty cool. But I had moved my PC into the living room and I hooked up my PlayStation four to the main TV. He was playing on my PlayStation four. I was playing on my PC. I think I was playing rise son of Rome and, um, before I continue on with the story, I got another little something to tell you before I continue on with that. But about two or three weeks ago, before this, well, not a go like now, but before this happened, my mom went to the store and got me some pretty awesome fucking towels, some new towels that are like really big. And I fucking loved them, dude. They were fucking awesome. You know how you get out of the shower like all wet and shit and like the home temp air? Or the house temp air will like fucking hit you. And you're fucking freezing. You're cold. And <laughs> you just want a blanket or something. Or just get back in bed. Because you're fucking freezing. Okay these towels are really huge. So I kind of just wrapped them around me like a fucking blanket. And it kept me warm. While I was trying to dry off from the shower. And it was just fucking awesome. Now you're probably wondering why I'm telling you about uh, my new fucking awesome towels. It, it, it takes a huge uh, important role in the story you'll understand when we get later on into the story but anyway back into the story so you understand why i was just talking about the towels so like i was saying i'm playing games um my friend is playing games i'm gonna call him jack um jack's playing like some dragon age game i don't remember what it was called some medieval game i don't fucking care anymore and um he said he had to go take a shit real quick and i was like all right dude Thank you for sharing, but yeah, go on ahead, do it. And uh, he went to the bathroom, and I was sitting there just playing Rise in a Room. I'm just loving this fucking game, and I'm having a great fucking night so far. And this is like around 2 o'clock in the morning, or like 3. Like, this was early in the morning, and I was kind of tired and shit. And then, uh, like, 3 or 4 minutes later, my friend Jack walks out of the fucking bathroom, okay? And he gives me this look on his face, like... Like this look of terror. <laughs> and he's like, uh, dude, I kind of clogged your shitter. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? And he said, dude, come look at this. I went in there. I looked and there's my fucking toilet, like full of water. Okay. The water is all brown. It's shit water. Okay. And there's water on the fucking floor, AKA shit water. And he used my new fucking towel. <laughs> My new favorite fucking towel to clean up his shit water. And man, I was pissed. And man, I'm I'm still kind of pissed, dude. I'm oh my god. It pissed me off so much. It was my favorite towel. That it was the best fucking towel I've ever used. And I'm thinking, dude, what the fuck? Why'd you have to use the new towel? He's like, oh dude, I'm sorry. I did I didn't mean to use the new towel. I was just looking for something to clean up all the shit water. And I'm thinking to myself in my head. Dude, seriously, you couldn't have a, you couldn't have at least had a fucking solid turd. 
I mean, you had to have fucking diarrhea where it would just go everywhere where the water went. And hold on, that's not even the worst part about this yet. The bathroom smelled like ass. The hallway leading to the bathroom smelled like ass. You could smell ass in my bedroom because it's kind of right next to the fucking bathroom. Um, in the fucking living room, you could smell ass. So you could kind of smell ass kind of fucking everywhere. And... Um, my friend, uh, my friend uh, saw a can of Axe body spray, and uh, what he did was he took that and kind of s- hosed down the fucking toilet, and I mean sprayed a ton of Axe, and I was thinking, all right, this is going to try and fix the fucking smell a little. It's going to make it smell a little better, better in here. No, it smelled worse. It, um, it didn't get rid of the shit smell, okay? What it did was it kind of combined scents. And made its own new kind of scent. <laughs> oh, dude. It was nasty, dude. I wanted to throw up. Like, just smelling ass just just made me a little sick to my stomach. But smelling ass and axe, like, fused together, that made me want to throw up, dude. That is the nastiest fucking smell anyone could ever smell. Um, no, that ruined axe for me. Since then, I have not used axe body spray. I've used axe, like deodorant but not body spray uh i used something else but uh man that was fucking nasty that was the nastiest fucking smell and that smell went throughout the whole fucking house uh a mixture of shit and axe when we got it cleaned up we still fucking smelled it for like a day or two Dude, no, that was bad. That was real bad. But, uh, yeah, after we got that cleaned up, the next day, my friend left, and he left me in a shitty-smelling house and a fucked-up new towel that I fucking loved that I kind of wanted to throw away at that time. And, um, yeah, that's basically the end of the story there. Uh, one more thing I want to bring up before I, end the, before I end the video, though, is I have noticed that I do cuss a lot in a lot of my videos so i'm gonna try and tone it down um i doubt i'll get rid of me cussing but i can try to tone it down a lot more probably about like a notch or two uh because i do cuss a little excessively i didn't notice until one of my friends at school brought it up to me but anyway that's the end of the story that's the end of the announcement this is the end of the video so if you're new to this channel and want to become a sailor today click subscribe and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. I remember all the people, how they said I wouldn't make it. I just want to show you that I'm here and I'm going to take it. Recently, I feel like I've been having revelations. All I need is God and I'm good, baby. And I just want to show you I could. And I just want to show you I could. Because you said I wouldn't make it. I just want to show you that I could